Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Game of Trades and this is going to be a technical analysis on natural gas. So it has been a while since I haven't made a video specifically on natural gas, so I've got a lot to cover on this video. Some uh, major things have uh, developed on natural gas and I've uh, looked over the charts and made up my mind about uh, what uh, position I'm going to take uh, in the future. So by the title of this video, you probably realize that I'm extremely uh, bullish on natural gas uh, and I think it may uh, double in the next year during 2020. Uh, and I'm, that's a specifically what I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, we're going to first take a look at the uh, hourly chart, uh, see exactly where we are uh, and what's happening and how soon exactly we could see a significant rally. And then I'm going to uh, jump into the uh, longer term charts to really uh, try and look at the bigger picture on natural gas and show you uh, why I uh, think that it may go up uh, in the next year. So starting on this uh, 60 minute uh, chart, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what happened uh, with our last trade here. Uh, this was the uh, wedge that uh, I looked at for a while uh, on this YouTube channel. I highlighted uh, this contracting uh, pattern and we were at uh, support. So uh, these are all things that I like uh, to see when I trade a certain commodity or a certain stock. I like to see divergence being built up, which uh, is something that we had. You can see this is the uh, 60 minute, but we did have divergence on the daily. Uh, we have the MACD starting to um, make higher uh, higher lows while the price is continuing on down. Uh, that is typical of a uh, price action that uh, indicates a potential trend change. Uh, and so that's uh, what I was looking for. I was looking for a bounce off support. We did get a slight bounce. We got the break of the trend line right here uh, that I was looking for and we got a, a fairly impulsive move uh, up. Uh, and then we came back down, uh, back tested the uh, trend line, and this is where things uh, did not go to plan. We actually failed the back test. So uh, that's something that you can definitely look for when you're trading. And when the price starts to reverse to come back and back test the trend line, you're looking for a impulsive move off of that trend line. This is a check mark for your trade. But in this case, we didn't. Uh, have an impulsive move. We actually broke down back below uh, this trend line. So this is a very uh, bad sign uh, for your trade. If you start to go back below the uh, trend line that you broke, that's not something you want to see. And then we ended up breaking the support level that I was looking for a bounce off of. So that's even a worse signal and that's uh, what you call a stop loss. And that's where I uh, completely uh, stopped my long position on natural gas. And not much of a surprise, we did get a significant drop uh, and that's what happens when many people uh, are looking for a, uh, are looking at the same price level. Uh, when you do get that break of that level, you will tend to get a significant drop uh, below it. So now I'm going to clear the chart and talk about what uh, we're seeing here with this new wedge pattern uh, that we're currently forming. So again, this is a similar wedge pattern. Uh, now, just because uh, it failed here doesn't mean it's going to fail here. Now, technical analysis uh, is all about probability. Uh, it's not 100%, but uh, using these kind of patterns, you put probability to your side and you increase the chances of the trading going uh, as planned. And that's exactly uh, what we're doing here. Uh, we've got the uh, trend line going down, we've got a divergence line, we've got the MACD starting to uh, rise up just like it did here. And we are also at support. I'm going to show you that on the weekly chart. Uh, you can't see that it's too far uh, on the 60 minute chart, but we are at support here. This is a support level. And now what's specifically interesting about what's going on is that we we did get the uh, break of the uh, trend line here. Uh, so we got the initial uh, thrust above the downtrend line and then we got the back test. And so far the back test has been successful. So we have 
uh, the move up. We've got a bounce off of that trend line. So the trade is still very much uh, uh, intact. It could still very well play out. And I'm personally uh, looking for a break back above the 1.894 level, uh, sp specifically the high we made here. So when this type of uh, zigzag uh, pattern happens, you're looking for the price to go back above this uh, high. And that's when the price is likely to have that impulsive uh, move all the way to the first target, uh, which is actually quite an ambitious, ambitious target. We've got the 2.087. Uh, this is the level that we broke. Uh, that's my first target for natural gas. Uh, it's around a, I think, 7% profit, 10% 10 10% uh, profit here. So on you guys, that would be a 30% uh, profit just for the first target. So that's uh, quite good uh, profit, especially considering that this uh, red line here that I put is my stop loss. So uh, you can see it's a support level. Uh, if we start breaking above this level, I'll take my long position and invest in natural gas and set my stop loss to this support level. If we start to uh, dip back below uh, this level, that is very bad news and we're likely to see more downside. So uh, this is my stop loss. And I think that's a 1.5%, uh, yeah, a 1.5% uh, stop loss. Uh, so compared to a 10% potential profit uh, at the first target, this is extremely good uh, risk uh, reward ratio. So another check mark. Uh, for my kind of trade. Now I'm going to clear the chart and stick, skip uh, straight to the weekly chart and uh, see what the longer term outlook for natural gas is. So this is the weekly chart uh, and you can see the uh, the first thing you can see is where we are right here. Uh, this is a support level uh, on the weekly chart and uh, you can see we've got a few reactions here. We do have one more support level uh, below and uh, uh, under the $1.66 level, we do not have any price action for natural gas. So that's as low as the price uh, has gone, uh, at least in recent history. But we are currently uh, at a strong uh, support level right here. And so a bounce is definitely uh, possible. Uh, and uh, the other thing I want to mention is the fact that we've got divergence on the weekly chart. Uh, on the RSI and the MACD. So we finally have that uh, long-term divergence and I'm going to show you exactly how powerful this is. We're going to go back uh, in history and look at all the times we had such divergence and what uh, came after it and what came after it. So uh, here in 2015, 2016, we had a similar divergence. Uh, you can see here we had two consecutive lows, uh, the second one being lower than the first, and the RSI starting to go up. Uh, same thing with the MACD, the MACD starting to go up. Uh, so this is what you call divergence, and you can see how powerful of a move uh, came uh, after uh, that signal. Uh, so that's the first example. And one more interesting thing about this is that we've got uh, the second low being in February and we had the rally uh, during the summer months. So uh, for those of you saying that uh, natural gas can't uh, rally during summer because, uh, well, uh, it's not the season. Well, this is a perfect example of natural gas rallying during summer uh, right after a huge downside, just like we do right now. We, we've had huge downside in natural gas and then we uh, finally got the divergence and a huge rally during the summer months. Uh, will this time be in any different? We'll see, uh, but we do have very similar conditions. And if you're not sure about the uh, RSI divergence, I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, you can see that the uh, RSI is clearly making a higher low. So uh, that is uh, officially and technically uh, divergence. So now I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Uh, this is another uh, quick example in 2017-2018. We had uh, two small uh, lower lows here and the RSI, you can see, you can see here uh, the RSI is making a higher low uh, and that fueled uh, I think a 100% uh, 
uh, move up. It was almost a 90% move up uh, after that low. Uh, and I'm not sure what the February low is, but I think it's almost 200%. It's a 150% uh, percent move up. So again, it more than doubled the price of natural gas after that uh, divergence. And obviously, uh, divergences work in both ways. You can see here we have the same thing, uh, but uh, bearish divergence uh, where you've got a higher high here and the RSI making a, a lower high, a slight lower high, but it is a lower high. And then you had a uh, long-term bear trend after an impulsive move down so uh, whether you had a long-term uh, bearish position here or a quick bearish position here you made profit and let's take a look at one last example of such a divergence uh, a little bit earlier in 2011 2012 and again you've got the low right here the divergent low uh, during uh, right before summer in April uh, so you've got a uh, lower low here the RSI making a higher low almost at uh, oversold readings and then you've got a huge powerful move up uh, with more than a hundred percent profit I think yeah again so a hundred thirty uh, percent profit right after uh, and if you continued holding you would have gone all the way to six point five dollars which is huge for natural gas. So going back to uh, what we're seeing right now, uh, I've aligned a few targets uh, for natural gas. This is the first target that I was talking about earlier, uh, a 10% profit move. And then we've got a, a couple more targets uh, that align with price levels. But what I'm essentially uh, looking for is a back test of this $2.5 level. Uh, this uh, Support level is an extremely important level that we hovered above for around three years. Uh, I think it's a very significant level, and I think it would not surprise me at all if we uh, come back to backtest it. Uh, I think it's very likely. Stocks and commodities really do tend to be attracted to such significant levels, such symbolic levels. You can see that uh, repeats itself. Uh, time and time again uh, during the history of a commodity uh, and it tends to really go back to the level every single time and so again a back test of this level uh, would be uh, likely for me especially seeing uh, such divergence I expect a big move up and if we start breaking above uh, this level which would not be straight away would be within uh, you know a year's time uh, that would be the next more ambitious uh, target with again many many reactions here so that would be a nice uh, a top uh, for natural gas and what I always like to do is check out the uh, Fibonacci retracement levels uh, from the high of the uh, correction uh, right here all the way to the low uh, and you can see the 23 retracement level actually coincides perfectly with the $2.5 uh, historic level. So that again is another uh, significant signal uh, that this is definitely a plausible target uh, for the downside that we've seen. So uh, in other words, the um, bounce all the way to this level would definitely be realistic in proportion to the downside that we've seen uh, recently. Another thing you can see is that the 50% retracement level is very, very close to my uh, more long-term target. So again, that's something to definitely keep in mind for the future, perhaps uh, again in a six month uh, to a year's time if this is the uh, actual low again anything can happen in trading and again we do have support under so natural gas can definitely make its way down uh, lower uh, I, I don't think so I, that's not where I'm uh, placing my bets on but uh, again anything can happen uh, so I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already 
Uh, in the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.